Buddy, boy, you are obsessed. You are mental. Where did you even... Don't worry. When was the last time you slept? Don't worry. I had the production guy cut your... Cut whatever that was off before I came in the room. What the hell is... Anthony! Coco! Long time no see, man. What's going on? Uh, well, uh, I'm the co-general manager of yeah, SmackDown I saw, now. I heard, yeah. I came all the way from Albany, New York just to see it. <sighs> Why? Come, please. Oh, look, look, no problem. Step. I'm going to make this short, you know, I'm a, I'm a busy man. Um, you really? Yeah, about that. Hell of a, hell of a, uh, uh, emerald bomb to Curtis and Deuce, by the way. Oh, you saw that? Uh, yeah, that yeah. was, uh, that was, that was impressive. You can really make them fly and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, can't you have to do that to SmackDown, guys, but it is what it is. So, what's up? Well, um, you know, I just came here to congratulate you, best bud. Um, oh, thank you, buddy. Yeah, it seems like that's it's piling on your accolades, you know. Co GM, you know, undisputed champion, yeah, undisputed champion, except that's three time champion, yeah, three time Ooh. world champion. Oh, yeah, just keep adding them on. But you see, I have a problem, and I think you have the answer to it. Yeah, see, I've been home, and I've just been mulling over. I've just been thinking, you know, because I'm a man who thinks. I'm a, you know, some, some may call me a criminal mastermind, but I think that title is more apt to you, you know. But I'm not here to antagonize you. Is this coming from the guy who... Hey, now, hey, now. Oh, hey, hey now. now. We call it right down the middle, right? Hey go now. right down the middle. No, okay, ATT come on says now. the best. I'm, I'm here to be <laughs> diplomatic, right? Okay, diplomatic. Go on. I'll be a bigger man. Continue. I'll, I'll have my moment. So I was mulling over the fact, and I was thinking... Hmm, how can a man call himself undisputed heavyweight champion of the world if he was beaten in singles competition, not only in singles competition, but multiple times in singles competition, in an allotted time, referring to an Ironman match, and, and just walk around and parade around like he's, he's had an undefeated streak, you know? Because it seems to me if you're beaten as a professional wrestler, in a professional wrestling setting of which you are the champion, that doesn't make you so undisputed. No, well, it doesn't. I'll take it from Christian Cage. You see, here's the thing, Kenneth. Here's the thing, buddy. I take losses in singles competition here and there so because I give people a chance, a fighting chance, that if they beat me, they get an AWF undisputed world title shot. And I take that with every grain of salt so and so though but i know yet head of yours is a little screwed i'm gonna have my moment see here's the thing you beat me in that iron man match fast forward stephanie gets the controls of the wheel five man match we thought it was a four man cm loaf comes out last whatever the stipulation is mamba ant if anyone were to pin if i were to pin mamba ant elimination oh excuse me Anyone I, I pin, they don't get a title shot. Anyone that pins me gets a title shot. That sounds pretty simple. <laughs> Except for when I'm talking fast, because you're getting riled up. But, so when you, you didn't give me the chance to pin Loaf. You pinned Loaf. Then you looked me in the eye. And then faced me. What did I do? Oh. That's what that fuck I thought. Please, please know that you're in my office right now, coming from Albany to Phoenix, because you're obsessed. Not only obsessed with me, shout out to, you're obsessed with this title, you're obsessed with, <laughs> you're obsessed with something that could have been yours. You want to know why it could have been yours? Because the AWF Undisputed Championship is actually two world championships that I hold up. Gee, I wonder where this one came from. Huh? Do you see the picture? So, do you want to fight or do you want a therapy session? What 
do you want? Kenneth Coco. <laughs> okay, so we're going for governments now, huh? We're going for governments. Okay. Hey, okay. KO2 time. Okay. Coke. Okay. Okay. Coke. I'll tell you exactly Kilgore. what I want. Mm -hmm. United Center. 30,000 people. See, I'm not booked for the final countdown, and I'm sure you're not either. So let's have a dance with the devil. Actually, no. The Antichrist. That's what you go around these days, right? No, that's what Agent K calls Whoa, me. Whoa, I trust his journalistic yeah. duties. So that's what I call him, the Antichrist. You know the things so, they say about you on Twitter? Antichrist. You said Twitter? The things they say about you guys on Twitter is a little uh, But yeah. Saying. I don't know if you realize, but Twitter isn't a real place. We're grown men talking here. I don't care I know, about I'm what just, people on I'm social media I'm just saying, media. like, listen, I wouldn't have people saying, they, they saying y'all doing anyway. Oh, 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 yeah, that's why they're behind the barricade, and I'm here challenging you for a world title, okay? So let's get back to business. Business is, if you want to make money, I'm the guy. Because the people know I can beat you. They saw it with their own two eyes, okay? This isn't some sort of myth. This isn't some sort of fable. This isn't a live show that nobody's seen. No. This is something that's on tape and it's recorded. I know floating over that terrible purple hairdo of yours is the thought that Kenneth Kilgore can compress your spine with a J driller. And that makes sure that you can't go to sleep at night. That keeps you up at night, doesn't it? You wake up in a cold sweat knowing that I can end your career when I hook your arm. This is coming from the guy who flew to Albany because he found out I just became well, coach and Anthony, manager. You know I'm not a fan of phone calls or texts. I sort of like in person. The right? say, I say that to say you should kind of take a look in the mirror and see that you're an obsessed jackass that's been leading astray. Well, you can Getting call screwed me over names. in matches all this time. You can call me names. You can call me whatever you want. You could throw playground insults. It doesn't change the fact that if you weren't co-GM right now, I'd have you laid out in a pool of your own blood, okay? But I'm here to be diplomatic. I'm not here to antagonize you, can't even you beat like Mike. You can't even beat Relly. You think you could beat me? Huh, I think I could beat you. That's exactly why I'm challenging you, because I did beat you, didn't I? Not for a title. Huh, not for a title, sure. You tried Relly for a title, you lost. You're going to try me for a title, you're going to lose? That's fine. No, no, that's fine. That's, that's fine. You see, Anthony, the most recent time that you beat me was when three other people were involved in the match. The last time I beat you, you had 30 minutes to catch up and you couldn't do it. So allow me to explain. I just need you for 60 minutes. Indulge me. Be my action figure. Be my personal toy for 60 minutes. Let me embarrass you in Chicago, Illinois. I know you hate the Midwest so much. That's fine. They'll have fun seeing you get your ass whooped to and fro, stand to stand, because they know what I know without a shadow of a doubt. You come in, you come in the AWF and you play cosplay. You think you're a professional wrestler because you jump off whatever's the highest point Don't you they're wearing. Wear a K every night. I wear a K because that's what the ladies love, man. <laughs> I mean, let's get it back to business. You come out here looking like a purple troll doll. I come out here looking like money. I'm going to make the biggest money when I win the Undisputed Eight of Championship. So why don't you put it here? Let's just stop talking right now. Why don't we settle this? Because when we're done with this, I'm going to make you a better man. Because you're a real, real... You've done stupid things oh, for a long oh, time. Oh, you hit me over the head with a chair in the championship match. It started there. And now you're here begging... Oh begging for redemption, begging for approval, because you can't take your own failure. You can't live with it. So it's okay. I'm going to give you this opportunity to redeem yourself. But just know, this is like walking into the church. This is getting dumped into the holy water and being rebirthed a new man. Because you did this. You take away Final Countdown, the Rumble, Renegade rumbles, end of days, all that, and you are nothing but a sad little soul that wishes he was Mamba Ant. That wishes, no, let me stop. You don't wish you were Mamba Ant. You wish you had the success of Mamba Ant. But the stupidity of it is, you could have been by my side. But here you are, sitting on your Ten toes begging. You're on, buddy.
live with it. Hope you can take cold temperatures. You know, holy water is kind of like that, you know. It's not waterboarding, it's just a little dumb thing to get out. Fuck out of here. Fuck out my office, yeah. The fuck are you doing? Move on now. See you on Christmas Eve. See you in front of your family, and my family, and everybody. Bring Angron's mom.